from the bottom to the top, from the start to the finish, everything they're doing and releasing now is controlled. What we're seeing in music videos now, for anyone again that, that just spends more than a couple of minutes studying it, the same symbols and the same images are cropping up time and time again. Covering of one eye, pyramid signs, all kinds of blatant and not so blatant symbology. I can't understand why anyone in this day and age can actually listen to that music. No offence to the artists, but their music is absolute crap. And before you even look at the videos, what are kids hearing and thinking, this is great, this is a brilliant artist, because, you know, I've listened to music my whole life, as you have. What we're hearing nowadays isn't quality music, but it's getting to the top of the charts. And that's because it's, it's all that's being allowed to be shown on the, the music networks and on the it's radio It's not even stations. music at all. Exactly, it's not music, it's, it's nonsense. Yeah. It's become like a carnival act because some of the stuff that they're showing in these videos isn't fun. It's becoming, you know, ritualistic in some of the symbology that's going on. But kids are watching it and thinking, wow, this is amazing, this is awesome. It's literally filmed in a studio, hand over the eye, symbology all around, and they're not even noticing it, but we are. And they just think it's the, it's the norm to put that in videos, which it really isn't. And when you question it, why do all these artists put their hands over their eye? People just say, oh, they're trying to look cool. It's just a cool thing to do. Well, if it's a cool thing to do, why is everyone doing it? Why haven't they found a new way to look cool? Their favourite artists may well be the subject of mind control experiments. It is going to be too much for them to, to, to accept, and they're just going to chuck it out by default. But it's true. There is absolute validity to this. There is absolute evidence available to suggest that it's going on. What is your understanding of how that is being incorporated into the music game? What you've got to remember is music and film in our modern day culture, it's so underestimated the effect that it actually has on the overall psyche of everyone, how much when we listen to pop music, when we watch films, it influences us. Most of that is on a subconscious level, so when you take that into consideration, to imagine that level of influence that these media have on us while we're growing up, while we're forming our opinions about the world, if you were to imagine that, and then think that the powers that be wouldn't have a way of infiltrating that and making it have this effect on us. Well, okay, so is it really so out, far out to believe that some of these artists would be mind controlled in a way that they could pass off this programming onto us? If you only got to look a little bit into, um, you know, the government black projects, MK Ultra, which stands for Mind Control Ultra, and the people that have come out of these groups and, you know, the harrowing stories of the, the torture and the things that they've been put through to become what they call MPD, which is Multiple Personality Disorder. And if you know anything about MPD or, or what they do to break people down, they talk about these alters of the mind. They break people down until they have these separate conscious or unconscious sub-personalities that they draw upon. These sub-personalities can be programmed with instructions that the other personalities have no idea about. I think Madonna is another very interesting case because she's obviously involved in this, I think possibly at maybe a higher level than people like. Mm -hmm. If you watch like, I mean this has had an awful lot of coverage, the Super Bowl thing this year. The way that she was portrayed in that ceremony was almost like some sort of high priestess. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I get the impression that she's been, you know, one of their playthings for a very, very long time. And she may have been initiated in, although she is probably still a puppet and you know, uh, she seems to be initiated to a slightly higher level than some of the pop stars that we're talking about which are more modern and recent. Because because, you know, remember how big Madonna has been for so many years, how many, uh, you know, formative lives she has touched with her music videos and her, you know, her art. And um, you've only really got to look what's happened to her over the years, how much she's been manipulated and altered. She is, she's like a ragdoll puppet for basically whatever image they want to portray at any given time. And keep an eye on her, and keep an eye on the videos because that is absolutely plus with the kind of symbolism that we're talking about. The all-seeing eyes, you know, the pyramids, the Masonic symbols, it's, you know, her stuff is full of it. Totally.